Hey, I'm uh, going to tell you something that I do a lot in Lightroom that you might have the same issue with. So, I re take a lot of film photography, not just digital, and I use Lightroom to organize my photography, uh, both film and digital. Now, that's great, and Lightroom is really great for sorting on, say, all, I want to see all my photos that are from 2017, I want to see all my photos with these particular metadata attributes like this camera, this specific focal length, whatever, weird stuff ratings and what have you and it lets you change the metadata but it doesn't let you change the camera make and model for some reason often when you get back your scans they're not going to have the make and model of the camera set because it just doesn't know how do you deal with this well i use a tool a command line tool so i'm in mac if you're not aware mac's basically a bsd unix variant underneath the covers of everything a very pretty easy to use one but underneath it all, there's a command line. This is Unix, kind of like Linux, but not. The terminal that comes with Mac, I don't really care for. The one that's nice is iTerm2, and you can get that from iTerm2.com, and you follow the download instructions there, and then eventually you get one of these, and that's the command line, and you can do stuff like print your working directory and all sorts of other cool stuff. But um, the thing, first thing we actually care to do is Go to Homebrew, which you can. Yeah, we need to install Homebrew, and we can get that from brew.sh, B-R-E-W, like like beer. And after you follow their instructions, you can then install other software by brew install, and they have a lot of formulas. And the one we actually want is Exif tool. So Exif tool is a command line utility that lets you set, read, set, and do all sorts of weird things to the Exif data. And that's basically the metadata on an image from the command line. And you can get that from by just doing brew install exif tool. That's E-X-I-F. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Get iterm2, get homebrew, brew install exif tool, and then you'll be able to do the next step, which is using exif tool to set the make and model of the camera. Well, now, first off, you want to, before you actually do that, you'll see... If you look at your Lightroom, I've already made some changes to the metadata. And if you look at the on the right side, you can bring that up. It's missing. There's a little arrow. Uh, you can see your metadata status has been changed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all of them. And I'm going to metadata. So I right clicked save metadata to files. I'm going to do this before I make alterations outside of it. And you see I get a little progress bar happening up here. And done. No, nope. Yeah, done. Okay, so, okay, up to date. Now you see there, metadata status up to date. And that's for all of them, I assume. Yep, all of them are up to date. So now I can go to where that was. And that remote drive is mounted at photography. And I'm in 2017, 02 February. And that's roll 30. Uh, and now I should explain that. So on the command line, spaces break up arguments. So you can, I'm going to go back to where I was. You can do, so I've been using Unix for ages. So and I know that I can just escape out the spaces. The other way you can do this is you can just do quotes, right? So I can do photography, 2017, 17, 02, February. Yeah. And then it's roll 30. That's probably more reason reasonable if you're not used to Unix command lines. The other option is just don't put spaces in your file names, but that kind of sucks. And then there's all my JPEGs. So if I just look at one of these, XF tool, I'll pick this first one. There we go. So I can see all sorts of stuff. But notably missing is the camera make and model. And you can see that the last time Lightroom and when it happened. So this is right now, pretty much. Last few minutes. Now, how do I change it? So I've got a bunch of JPEGs. 
and I can say exif tool and I want to set the make equal to Nikon corporation and again notice I'm using the quoted string thing there and the other thing to notice is I'm using all caps Nikon space corporation and the reason why is because that's how my other Nikon camera which is digital labels itself and I want to keep it the same so that I can basically see all the ones that are have the make of Nikon. The model in this case this one was Nikon N90S and that's a 35 millimeter camera that I happen to have and I want to do that to all of the JPEG files in this directory. So this little star thing that's a what's known as a wildcard basically it matches everything so everything dot jpeg I'm applying this to I could just name a single file like pick one of these files here right? I could do that and I could list them all out but that takes forever so we've got lots of shortcuts so I can just say boop all the dot jpegs and then I press enter and this will take a bit too All right, so all 36 images have been updated via the command line tool. I can now go back in here, and if you'll notice, I can metadata, read metadata from files. Read. And you see I get another progress bar. So now it says the correct make and model for the camera on all those images. Now the next thing is I like to know what film I shot and how I do that is just with tags. So I select all of these, or not tags, uh, keywords. All right, so I can say the film is, well so first I'll add, this is all 35 millimeter. So I'm tagged that all as 35 millimeter. And the other thing is, this is Ilford HP 5, 5 plus. All right. All right. Okay, so now that that's been updated, you'll notice that those keywords are there. So I've got 35 millimeter, Alfred HB5 Plus. And the other thing I forgot to say was exif tool dash iso equals 400 asterisk.jpg. This was Ilford for this was that 400 iso film. So, yeah update all the ISO all. Now I should have done that at the same time I updated the make and model but I forgot. So there you go. And I think I can even set that metadata via I mean the keywords I think I can set that through XF tool as well but I usually just do that on the Lightroom side of the house. And once this is done I'll just have to update the metadata again in Lightroom. Okay, so there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's done. So if we look at the metadata, how do I go out of here? There we go. ISO 400, Nikon Corporation, Nikon N90S, 35mm HP5+, which means I can find all of the Nikon N90S camera stuff in my normal filters, so you can find all the stuff that's Ilford HP5+, if you like that. 
And that's one of my favorite black and white films. It's a pretty common one, too. Thanks.